What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Eat More Plants official kitchen. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make beef lo mein. I'm starving. Let's get right into this. Here's everything you're gonna need to make beef lo mein, 100% vegan, at home. You're gonna need some veg of choice today. For the vegetables, I'm doing a carrot, some zucchini here, some napa cabbage, and some Chinese broccoli. I'm also throwing in some bean sprouts and some scallions. You're also gonna need some proteins of choice. I'm going with some mushrooms, some fried tofu. This is that puffy fried tofu from the Asian supermarket. And it is probably my favorite kind of tofu. It's delicious. I also got some vegan beef slice right here. And these you can find at some Asian supermarkets. They come dry. We got some Chinese soy sauce. And this is the key to this recipe. It's the type of soy sauce you use. I got brand is Lee Kum Ki. Okay, use that brand and you'll be good. Right here, we got sesame oil, sugar, vinegar, just plain old vinegar, and we got some tapioca starch. You can also use corn starch. You're gonna need some vegan lo mein noodles. I got these from the Asian supermarket, and they're already prepared, ready to go. And some ginger and garlic, y'all. Also, I'm gonna throw in a touch of mushroom seasoning here. This is totally optional. Uh, I just have it, and I think it kind of brings the sauce up a notch, so I'm gonna throw it in there. All right, I got everything minced up here, and take a quick mental note of how I cut everything. So you see, I got some scallions that are in about two inch pieces, and then I also got some that are minced up for the garnish, or I'm sorry, those are sliced. Check out the carrots, you guys see them? It's kind of like a, uh, Thick julienne, if you will. We got our zucchini. Got a nice dice on there. All right. I got my Napa cabbage. Just thinly sliced it. All right. The Chinese broccoli. I sliced up the bigger stems. And then I uh, just chopped it into thick slices here. And my tofu, I just diced it up into cubes here. The oyster mushrooms. I just sliced up the bigger ones and left the smaller ones whole. And you want a fine mince on the ginger and the garlic, y'all. All right, so first step here, y'all, we're just gonna get a bowl, take our vegan beef slices, throw them in the bowl. Then, hit this with about a, I don't know, tablespoon of soy sauce. Let's go with half a tablespoon of sesame oil here. And we'll hit this with a tablespoon of tapioca starch. Mix this in very well. Next, we're gonna make our sauce, so we're going with one cup of water. We'll go in with some soy sauce here, just plain old white vinegar. And we'll do some sugar here as well. Two tablespoons sesame oil going in. I got two teaspoons tapioca starch going in. Going in with some mushroom seasoning. Let's give this a good mix here. We're ready to cook. All right, we got a hot pan here. Heat is on medium, medium high heat. And I'm going in with about a tablespoon of oil here. Once that heats up, I'm going in with a tablespoon of ginger, tablespoon of garlic. Going right in with my beef here. Mix this in. A quick tip is only go in with your ginger first and then your beef, and you can add garlic after because the garlic will burn before the ginger. So I'm keeping it moving here so it doesn't burn, but that's just a quick tip. All right, this looks good. Let's get our beef out of the pan, set it aside. All right, hot pan here, going in with a couple tablespoons of oil. Then I'm going in with some garlic and some ginger here, y'all. Right in with it. Mix this around in the oil. All right, once that garlic starts to turn golden brown, we're going in with our sauce here. Deglaze that pan. Scrape the bottom of this pan, get all that flavor off the bottom of that pan, y'all. Through this, going in with my carrots, my zucchini, and my mushrooms. And I'm using oyster mushrooms today. If you guys want to use white button, the ones that are easier to find, go for it. Mix this in. That veg and those mushrooms have been cooking in there about three to four minutes. They're starting to soften up. And I wasn't recording, but I went in with my scallions, so just pretend I went in with my scallions here. Mix these in. 
All right, once those scallions have cooked into that sauce a little bit, I'm going in with my beautiful two pounds of lo mein noodles. Kind of pull these apart. I'm also going in with my tofu here, fried tofu, my Chinese broccoli, my Napa cabbage. Pot's getting full here, y'all. And my bean sprouts. Going right in with it. Try to mix this all in, y'all. Once everything's mixed in well, we're going in with our beef. Vegan beef, y'all. Mix this in. And the smell in here is just so good. Smells like a Chinese restaurant in here. And basically, we're just gonna cook this until the sauce absorbs into the noodles and all that veg and all that tofu. And then we'll serve, y'all. All right, this looks beautiful. This is all done. This is your finished Chinese takeout lo mein, y'all. 100% vegan. Get this off the heat. All right, guys, let's get this set up. Just hit this with a few scallions right over the top. Just for some presentation. And there you have it, guys. Your finished Chinese takeout lo mein with vegan beef, oyster mushrooms, fried tofu, veg. Oh man, let's eat. Let's get right into this. Get you a bite of this vegan beef lo mein, y'all. Take this to the dome. Oh, yes. Look at that. Look at that vegan beef. Take this to the dome, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. That vegan beef is delicious. Get some noodles, y'all. Vegan lo mein noodles right here. Take these to the dome. Mm. Buy the fried tofu right here, y'all. Another one. Mm. Chinese broccoli stem. Chase that with the beef. Now noodles. Mm. Zucchini. Eat your vegetables, y'all. Get you one of these. Oyster mushroom, y'all. Look at that. Take this to the dome. Get you a bite of this. Mmm. Wow, the seasoning on this is perfect. This is a huge plate of lo mein, y'all. Let's see if I can show y'all what's really going on here. Look at this. That could be a good thumbnail. Get you a bite of these noodles right here, y'all. Steam coming off of these. I don't think you can see it on camera, but they, they are hot. Take this to the dome, y'all. Mm. 
Mm. Mm, man. Wow. I need to get y'all some bites from the front so you can see it here. There you go. Vegan beef slice. Now we need some greens, some balance, right? Good old, this is uh, Chinese broccoli. Take that to the dome, y'all. Carrot. Zucchini. Tofu. Mmm. So delicious, y'all. Let me get y'all up here closer, y'all, so y'all can really see what's going on here. Mm. Take these to the dome. Vegan lo mein noodles. Mmm. Mmm. Such a good way to get your veg in. Like, just throw it in there, y'all. Whatever you're making. Throw that veg in there. Another bite of these noodles, y'all. Take these to the dome. The Emo Plants official lo mein noodles. Get you a bite of this. Mm. Now, oyster mushroom right here, y'all. To the dome. Mmm. Just chew on that for a second. Mmm. The flavor never ends, y'all. In the Eat More Plants official kitchen, the flavor never ends, y'all. Goes on forever. Take this to the dome. Wow. Some greens. Mm. Oh, get you some tofu here, y'all. To the dome. Incredibly, incredibly delicious. Last bite here, y'all. 
Let's get an oyster mushroom. Vegan beef slice. Uh, let's do carrot, some greens on there. And we'll chase it with the noodles, y'all. Take this to the dome right here, y'all. Oyster mushroom in the back. Beef slice in the front. Get you a bite of this. Mmm. Now. That's it. Alright, y'all. That's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you want to see me cook next down in those comments. Smash that like button. Smash that red subscribe button. Share this video with someone who should eat more plants. See you guys next time. Eat more plants, y'all. Think. Fire. 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 Yes, sir.